Capricorn, welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading for Capricorn till the end of January 2019. Please don't forget to watch your moon and rising sign for a more complete picture. I've put the decks that I'm using in the description box and I've put in links to Amazon and eBay, so please click on these links to buy the decks. And uh, please um, don't forget to watch my deck walkthrough series, you'll find that interesting. So like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if these messages resonate with you. So I'm starting off with this general energy read and then I will do the general tarot read after that. Oops. Okay, so uh, you're, um, you've got the house over here which is showing, um, you know, you might be spending a lot of time at home at, at the moment. Or you could well be doing some repairs or some kind of um, renovations on your home at the moment. You've got the clouds, so you're dealing with some kind of situation. Uh, there might be some arguments or some kind of problems, uh, maybe within the family home as well. There could be some family problems that are going on. And it could be involving, uh, you know, people that are older than you. So um, you could be dealing with some kind of problems within the family home. Uh, and it could be dealing with maybe parents or, you know, older siblings. But there is some kind of problems. So you've got the clouds over here with the family home. And uh, it's showing, uh, you know, with the lilies, it's showing, you know, people that are generally older than you. So there's some kind of family problem that is going on. Um, you could also well be doing some kind of repairs on the home or a focus on the home where you're spending a lot more time at home. So in the past, you've got um, the dog, which is talking about faithful friends, and the cats, <laughs> which is talking about people that, you know, you can't really trust very, very much. So you've been dealing with two kinds of people over here. Maybe you've been dealing with people that have been, um, you know, uh, a bit standoffish, people who haven't been giving you very much time. And then you've got people that are very, very supportive of you. So, uh, you know, it seems like there's almost a, a contrast over here where you've been dealing with two sets of people and been using one, you know, there's been one person that's been helping you deal or cope with, with these people that are not... Um, uh, very very nice really so going into the future you've got the whip and the um, uh, broom over here so and it's sitting next to the home uh, card so it is talking about uh, you know a lot of problems that are going on within the family home itself you have even got this line which talks about shocking news that comes in so with the clouds um, clouds the whip the lion, it looks like there's a lot of family problems that are going on within the home life. So I strike that uh, thing about doing any home repairs. I think this is more uh, a family issue that is going on and there's a lot of problems that are going on within um, the family home itself. And you know, you might get some shocking news coming in over here that's going to cause a lot of disputes, a lot of problems coming in. So just be aware of that. There are things that are going on, maybe behind the scenes, maybe you're not aware of it, but there are, um, you know, there's a lot, maybe there are disputes that you're aware of, but there's some kind of news that is going to come in that's going to cause a lot of problems, uh, some kind of development that happens that is going to bring some shocking news in. So just be aware that that could be coming in. <clears throat> so those are the energies for the uh, for till the end of January. <clears throat> so I'm just going to draw some cards from the um, Black Cat Tarot. Let's see. Okay, so the main energies of the card is the four, it's the Emperor card, which is, uh, you know, talking about taking leadership, uh, taking a role. This could also be well that you're dealing with a person who is maybe a fire sign, an Aries person, because this is the card that is ruled by Aries. So you might be ha having dealings with somebody who is uh, very much in control, um, very much a bully, I would think, um, with, the, you know, it's got a Mars um, energy behind it and somebody who is really, you know, in authority or somebody who's very uh, much a boss or very much a bully. And this could be, well, the person that you're dealing with at the moment. Um, 
with the Ember card. On the other hand, it could be you trying to take control of the situation and trying to get things in order. You know, uh, not really listening to what anybody's got to say, but trying to get things sorted out, trying to take on that leadership role. So um, what's happening with you? You've got the Ace of Rods over here and the Fool card. So it looks like you're starting off something brand new. You're starting, this might be a new work project that you're starting off, but you're starting off something brand new and you're taking that leap of faith. So it might be something you've not done before. You might be going down a new pathway. So you're making a choice of starting something brand new over here. There might be somebody that you're getting some support or advice from who's telling you how to go about doing it. So you've got this person sitting on the tree, somebody who's very established, somebody very stable, and you're getting some advice from that person and you're planning on going down um, a new path. So you want to change directions in life and do something brand new. And maybe this is why this Emperor card is coming in. Maybe you're getting a position of authority or leadership right now. Um, and, you know, this is a new beginning for you where you're taking control of that situation and it's something new. So you might be getting promotion. This could well be a promotion or where you're in authority, where you don't listen to what anybody's got to say because you are the final say. So this could well be the case. And with the Emperor card, it's somebody that usually is able to handle resources, manage resources so this could be well that you're getting in, into some kind of promotion where you're in that kind of leadership role starting something fresh something new and um, you know taking control of the situation so in the past year, you've been working very, very hard. You've got the Knight of Pentacles over here. So this is very, very slow working, not earning that much of money, uh, you know, facing a lot of obstacles over here, living in a period where there was lack of abundance. Um, but you've been working extremely hard to get going. And, you know, you're managing to get to the top. You've got the King of Rods over here. So this could be somebody around you that's helping you, somebody who's very, very established, somebody, uh, you know, it's generally a businessman or somebody that, um, or business person rather, who's well established and somebody who's been helping you uh, and guiding you along your course so they've been giving you a help trying to tell you how to go about doing things or even being very very supportive of you and what's in your mind you've been very very uh discontent with whatever you've been earning or wherever you are in, in that particular post maybe you look around you and you see all these people over here and what they have on their plates is not what you want so it's something that you're not happy doing at the moment and you're actually uh, been thinking of leaving it or thinking of changing over to something new and maybe this is why this full card has come in because you've you've been so discontent and you now want to make uh, that change so you've got the hermit card over here and this is you know uh, working and focusing on your goals you can see this hermit going towards the light so and maybe whatever you're doing you know it seems like you're you're um you're, you're padding upstream so it's very difficult and you are working very very hard and maybe spending a lot of time focused on that work focused on trying to get the job done and focusing you know but spending a lot of time by yourself and it's difficult because um you know you are uh, trying to paddle upstream really <laughs> So going into the future, for you, you've started some kind of brand new cycle, maybe with your family, uh, maybe, uh, you know, uh, a new phase in your life has begun, a, a different kind of contentment has come in with this Ace of Cups. So whatever you do, did on a family basis, of you personally, it looks like, uh, you know, you're spending maybe a lot more time with your family, or maybe with your children, and, you know, you've got a different outlook as far as that goes. This is a new cycle beginning for you. So it looks like something ended as far as the family life and something brand new is beginning for you. And then you've got the two of cups over here. So uh, this is, you know, generally a card of, um, you know, no, sorry, this is the knight of cups, sorry. Um, this is a card of, um, you know, information coming in for you. Um, this is also a card of an offer, a love offer coming in for you. So uh, although it's not the ace of cups, Definitely the Knight of Cups is somebody bringing in that offer. The Ace of Cups is generally, you know, where you actually move phases, um, uh, you know, uh, change your ideas or change the way you think about things. But the Knight of Cups, um, you know, uh, or sorry, the Knave of Cups, is, is somebody that brings in that message. So you can see them pushing, throwing out love arrows over here. So there, it looks like there's a, uh, you know, an offer coming in for you, some kind of offer, some kind of new relationship that might enter your arena, especially if you're single. You yourself just want to focus on your work and get things done. You've got the three of pentacles over here. Maybe you don't see this new offer coming in, but it is going to come in over here. It's got an arrow coming in through the clouds. This might be an invitation you know, over the phone or the internet, some kind of invitation coming in for you where you don't see the person face to face, but you know they send you a message of some sort. And uh, here you've got uh, you, uh, you know, just focusing on your work, just trying to get the job done. So you, it seems like although all this thing, all the, 
everything is going on around you. You seem to have been concentrating on your work and, you know, you're quite the expert at whatever you're doing. Um, you know, you still seem to think this is your hopes and fears. So you still feel there's obstacles to your progress and you do feel a bit lonely and you do feel you're not earning a lot of money for it. And, and this is why you're focusing so much on work. So going into the future, you've got the five of rods, uh, the king of cups and the four of swords over here. So the five of rods, um, it looks like, you know, there's some kind of dispute that is going on around you. Now, this could well be that family dispute I was talking about where a lot of people have a lot of things to say and, you know, nobody seems to be listening to anybody. So just watch out for that. There's a lot of dispute and arguments coming on, on um, you know, where people are not agreeing. You need to defend yourself and you need to stand up for what you believe in. And you've got the King of Cups over here. So this could be well dealing with a water sign person, which is a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces person. Uh, and you might have, you know, this might be somebody within your family situation itself. This person is also somebody who watches your back um, and somebody you can actually... Um, get trustworthy advice from so this is a very supportive person maybe this is the person that's coming in that will help you sort out whatever problems or disputes that are going on uh, around you and you've got the four of rods over here so it looks like whatever's going to be happening is very very stressful for you you can see this person's sitting on the bench with a broken leg so uh, you know it, it's going to it might be taking quite a big toll on your you and your health and you do need to take some time out and get some rest and relax uh, and just recover from it. You don't want it to get you down. So uh, whatever stressful situation is, you know, um, the King of Cups could also signify a doctor, somebody in the medical profession. Maybe all the stress has caused some kind of medical problem and it need, you need to actually take a break and get de-stressed or recover from whatever is uh, been going on. So this might be consulting a physician of some sort or getting some advice and this is taking time to recover from whatever happened. So whatever disputes have been going on has had its toll on you and now you need to actually get some um, uh, medical input or get some kind of treatment and relax and recover from it. So whatever is going on over here, there's new beginnings coming in for you. You are moving into a different phase as far as your family life. Um, you know, you, it looks like you do want to make a brand new start at something and, you know, take control of that situation as well. Um, and, you know, it's going to be difficult uh, because this is the Hermit card. It's a card by, ruled by Virgo and it usually talks about, you know, just um, focusing and concentrating and trying not to get things get you down. So I'm going to draw some cards uh, from the Success Cards deck. This is an Oracle deck. And um, then I will draw from the Animal Tarot. So it says uh, you need to realize that you are very unique and you need to um, focus on yourself, really. Make sure that people realize that, you know, you are important and, and not take you for granted. And the second one is the goal of life. So, you know, decide what you want to do. Decide what you want to achieve at the end of, you know, of everything. At the end of the life, your life, what are you going to say that you achieved? And that is important. It's important to realize your goals. And uh, work, it's also, it looks like, you know, you, you need to focus on your work as well. So Capricorn is, is a sign of Saturn and, you know, Saturn is always happy when it's doing work or focusing on work. And maybe this is the reason why with this three of, cup, uh, three of coins, you do need to focus on that work. And maybe that will allow you to think yourself out of the situation and get yourself moving on. So I'm just going to draw some cards from this um, animal tarot. So the first card is the Ace of Winter, which is implementation of your brilliant new idea may get off to a rocky start, but keep going. The challenges will help you refine your plan and reshape your goals into something better. So don't worry about things being not working out initially. Eventually they will, because this is the beginning of something new and uh, something good. And it will go your way, but you just need to hang in there. Don't give up. Uh, before things get off the ground. And you've got the polar bear, or unity, which says, embrace this time of deep spiritual growth. You may feel called upon to act as a mentor, find a new teacher or a special time for others who also have, who are also on a sacred path. So the unity card is generally uh, the hierophant card. So this is about finding a new spiritual path or even finding that mentor, somebody who will guide you. You might be a person who will also be able to give guidance to people having been through all the difficulties in life as well. 
So you've got the Four of Autumn as the last card. Be cautious about uh, living a life of extremes or seeing things in black and white terms. Consider, your, for example, whether you are spending too much versus, versus hoarding your wealth or giving too much away emotionally versus uh, building walls that keep people out. <coughs> so with this Four of Autumn... It's about finding that balance. So you need to get into that point where you understand about living a life of balance and not living an extreme life. Now, uh, you know, generally with Saturn uh, ruling Capricorn and this being Capricorn season, Saturn is a very restrictive planet. And it can turn you into somebody that just hoards or, you know, restricts yourself so much, um, you know, limits yourself so much that uh, you don't get to do the things that you love. So you need to find that balance about being, having that joy in your life versus having that, uh, you know, restriction. So uh, you need to find this balance and make sure that you are looking at that. And, you know, if you need somebody to give you advice, this is a good time for you to actually look for a good mentor. So it looks like, you know, you will come out of whatever you're going through at the moment. Uh, you, you might need to just focus on work. Um, it looks like things are going to change for you because you've got the full cast. You are be beginning a brand new cycle and it's the best time to begin a brand new cycle. This is just coming through your birth mo uh, birthday month and generally, you know, with birthdays, we begin new cycles uh, in our life, new phases. So you're getting into that particular situation. But make sure if you are having any health concerns, any health problems, you are seeking some kind of medical advice. And just altogether relax with this Four of Swords. It's ne You need to de-stress and... Um, and uh, recover from any kind of problems you are having. So I hope these messages resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and leave me some comments if it has. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.